Hello and welcome, burp coming up. Oh, this is a terrible feeling whenever you're about to do it and it doesn't come up. I fucking hate that. Uh, well, thank you. Hello and welcome uh, for watching this video. Um, I'm Ominous and today we have the top 10, I just have to look it up, top 10 new wave of British heavy metal bands. It's gonna be a great list. I believe this was by Watch Mojo UK, so I'm gonna love this. I mean, it's metal and it's... Well, no, it's by regular Watch Mojo. Tigers of Damn Tang, Spellbound is a tunnel. I've never heard of that band. Uh, Iron Maiden is a slideshow, of course. Yeah, the number one, Motorhead is, I believe, New Wave-ish. Judas Priest. Can I name more? Uh, Angel Witch. Yeah, that's kind of it, I think. It's Death Leopard, no. I guess. Uh, uh, Black Sabbath? No. And there, 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 there's a lot of them. Yeah, you know, not British bands, but New Wave, I guess. The New Wave is British heavy metal. metal. And Black Sabbath is an old ass band, let me go on. Tigers of Pen, Pen Tang. No Judas Priest. Uh, Raven? Raven. I love the character, but I've never heard of the band. High energy don't even begin to describe the new castle based group known as Raven, whose legacy of ridiculously over the top performances and furious musicality has cemented their place as founding fathers of British metal's new wave. John and Mark Gallagher with a rotating set of drummers, Raven's brand of self-styled athletic rock featured the sorts of progressive arrangements and muscular technicality which would eventually lead to the evolution of thrash metal, with genre okay. legends Metallica prophetically opening up for the group on their very first American tour. Oh, that's of course pretty bad, that them yielding the source. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Not his name, no tank. Never heard of this band before. They sound decent. At the very onset of the movement in 1980, Tank were a loose and lethal trio led by bassist and vocalist Algie Ward, formerly a punk band, The Dead. The band carved a career similar to that of Motorhead in that they combined punk rock aggression and attitude with heavy metal musicianship to create a sound that was intense and frenetic. <laughs> Although the band's status today is disputed, with both Ward and the Mick Tucker slash Cliff Evans duo creating music separately under the Tank banner, the band's debut Phil Hounds of Hades will always remain a stone-cold classic in the halls of British metal. Sure. Oh yeah. Nearly a one good album, but it's a Tanya good album. Band band should be well versed with this next act, as this British metal band were a vital influence to both groups early on in their career. I mean, Metallica sucked their dick. I mean, come on. Man. Early Metallica sets were littered with covers of Diamond Head classics. Taken from their seminal 1980 LP, Lightning to the Nations. With the iconic They're all really good all of them come on. Live performances to this very day. Yes. And sound was sparked by Sean Harris's wailing, Robert Plant's sized vocals, and guitarist Brian Tyler's heavy yet expressive style. And truthfully, it hasn't aged a bit, with all of the band's studio LPs serving as essential starting points for fans of the new wave genre. Help us! Help us! Elvis. Angel Witch. Number seven. Angel Witch. What is that cover? 
like a snake with a That's with a bitch in the back, like, yeah, like a witch bitch. <laughs> well, yeah, witch, I guess, I guess. song ever. <laughs> Killed by death. Amazing. Straightforward bands like Van Halen and ACDC or something, but they have the tunes, you know, they have the tunes. But Section is good too in that regard, but I never really care for them that much. But they are a good band though, and I do like them. Pieces over the years. Their, their career is so lengthy though. Power and the Glory. Such albums as Power and the Glory, Denim and Leather, and their 1980 classic Wheels of Steel, serving up epic guitar riffs, driving drums, and the unique vocals of frontman Biff Pfeiffer. Saxon is heavy metal for the working man, and they're proud of it. Uh, yeah, Venom number two. Two, three. Venom. <laughs> I don't like Venom. Politics They're a good band. Ugly and over the top. The uh, early. I like the early stuff. I mean, who likes who likes their? Like their the also serve as the starting point for the most famous Their later stuff. Black metal. Uh, their last great album. I mean, they just went to shit after that. Cool man. 
the genre even takes its name from Venom's legendary sophomore effort from 1982. Yep. Many black metal musicians citing Venom members Kronos, Montes, and Abaddon as musical godfathers with their unhinged amalgamation. I never got why, you know, they're not doing that in this perform, but I never got the drummer sitting so high in the fight, like he, he having like, he is like on the ceiling almost drumming and the other members are just on the ground. I never got that. Then they're not doing that here, but they did it once, like the fuck. Metal bomb like that was so fucking weird. Like you're so uh, out of place, I think. You're so distant towards the rest of your band mates. I cannot do this voice. <laughs> Def Leppard number two. Number two, Def Leppard. I mean, Def Leppard being besides, you know, the whole reason number one. It's kind of, kind of an insult, I think. I mean, come on. Guitar sound and raw energy of on through the night and high and dry saw Def Leppard spearhead the new wave of British heavy metal. Rock, uh, Br Brigade? Yeah, no, Brigade. 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 Can I not fuck up one word ever? Oh, I still have two arms there. No, we're good. Many fans still rank the band's 1981 high and dry opus as one of their best, while vintage songs like Let It Go, Bringing On the Heartbreak, and Switch 625 continue to play important parts in the band set to this day. Yeah, we get it, you're British. Like the huge ass English flag, I guess. Paying homage to a great country, I guess. Before we unveil our top There's a lot of great music in this country, but Def Leppard isn't one of them. There are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Grim Reaper. No, it's kind of generic. Blitzkrieg. Sounds kind of funky in a way, really. Hell. Just hell. Under it as it is in hell. Girl school. I honestly cannot tell if they're boys or girls, they're probably chicks. It's hair metal and they're ca called girls school, I mean come on now, Satan. Into the future. Obviously. Come on now. They are the best heavy metal band in the world. Easy. The early collection of songs as found in the Soundhouse Tapes EP. <laughs> Following two landmark albums with singer Paul Diano, Iron Maiden would eventually snag former Samson frontman Bruce Dickinson and soon rushed on to heavy metal superstardom with such classics as Power Slave, Peace of Mind, and The Number of the Beast. Six, six, six. The Number of the Beast. Metal gods today, Fuck. but it was in the early hours of the new wave of British heavy metal that the fire of Iron Maiden's greatness was first sparked. I mean, their 80s work is just the best metal ever. I'm going up. It's flawless. So, do you agree with our They're arguably even more flawless in the 80s than Metallica, metal Metallica metal was, metal arguably. Metal Wait, why am I jamming out to that? What the fuck? <laughs> I was getting into my mating groove and then I just was fuck it, let's jam to Death Leopard, why not? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking jamming out of this though. Maiden, come on, huh? All that Death Leopard shit, fuck off. Um, yeah, those are worlds apart. How am I gonna say this? Those are qualities. How the fuck am I gonna say this? Those bands are worlds apart from quality, there we go, like, it's not even funny, that's how far apart they are. Uh, but thank you for watching this video, Motorhead should have been higher, they, they should have been number two. Venom, yeah, I agree with Venom number three, or Saxon number three, Saxon definitely in, in the top four. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good top four, top four list, if you take Def Leppard out of it and put Motorhead in their place, Motorhead's definitely the second best British band. New Wave British band. 
Motorhead were not New Wave British Heavy Metal, their first release was in 1975 and they weren't part of the movement, apart from that great list. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, because I believe Motorhead preceded Judas Priest in oldness, because I believe Priest is, uh, came out in 1976. Motorhead is 75, so... So Motorhead is older than Judas Priest, I believe, so... Like, the fuck, Death Leopard or Metal, or no, thank you, <laughs> thank you. They're, they're, that's probably my biggest problem with Death Leopard, you know, people call them metal, they're not metal, fuck off, you know what I mean? God damn, I wish people would stop ca calling Death Leopard heavy metal, they're hard rock, thank you, they're pussy pop in my opinion, rip Lemmy. We are Motorhead and we play rock and roll, Lemmy, bazillion times probably. Yeah, thank you. Iron Maiden, best heavy metal band, thank you. They just are. I mean, come on. Uh, after Black Sabbath. That's debatable, but I think Maiden holds up better, you know, their whole discography. Sabbath still has a great discography, I think, but they, you know, they kind of dipped in quality after a while, and Maiden just keeps on going. Kicking ass, there we go. Uh, Iron Maiden better be number one. They were, I mean, obviously. Maiden better be number one, thank you. And Anthony Pancake, like, I'm, I'm seeing on here. I cannot speak anymore, fuck me all. Um, I'm seeing him on here, like, lots of times, there we go. Number one, such a surprise, I mean, it's, it's fucking, it's much more come on now. Lamb of God songs, uh, heavy metal bands, Meshuga songs, that's, those are good uh, lists. But they, well, I won't say they did Lamb of God, but they haven't done that, I believe. Uh, they should though, they should. Good band. Uh, where Samson? Don't know that. Samson, you have forgotten Samson. I don't know that band. Uh, but you just pre started the new wave. Blah, blah. Yeah, fuck. Fuck speaking. I am tired. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm always tired. So there we go. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what are your favorite picks in the comments down below. I'm gonna eat now because I'm, uh, I haven't eaten all day. So there we go. It's like evening right now. So. Well, but this boy is losing weight, so it is helping, but, well, you have to eat eventually, otherwise you're gonna die. So there we go. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, yeah, the other things you just said. Support the channel, and I'll see you guys. <coughs> Fuck. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.